Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of INOS 1 and 1. Today in this video, I will be showing you how to install WordPress on INOS 1 and 1. I want us to use what we call FTP or web space. This is almost like cPanel if you're using any other service provider like um, Bluehost, Namecheap and so forth. These are the basics that you need to know. Number one, you need WordPress core files as you can download straight away wordpress core files you get it from wordpress.org there you are what you do you're just going to get wordpress and you go ahead and download the latest version and there it is it gives you to choose a location so i'm going to put mine on the desktop okay so once you're finished to download the wordpress core files another thing that you need on your computer is the ftp client so you're going to download the ftp client of your choice for example me I'm, i encourage us to use filezilla when you search filezilla you're just going to click on this and you should be able to download right here you download client and you click download i already downloaded it once you've downloaded you just go ahead and install and you should be able to find it right here on your desktop now we're finished to install the ftp client and also download the wordpress core files the next thing is go to ionos.com and log on to your project or your hosting so once you've logged in to your project you'll be able to get these apps where you find uh, the web space and there's also the FTP uh, which is actually here so are you going to configure this you'll get a configure button let me show you so you'll get it something like this configure FTP and uh, you're just going to click configure then uh, the password uh, username actually comes automatic and you're only just going to set a password for it so you're going to click set password and you give it the password that you want and you go ahead and save it you can see now i have uh, the host here the, um, the port you're actually going to need all this information in case you can copy it somewhere else please copy it if not you'll be able to still come back to uh, the ft button and be able to view all this also the other thing if you cannot be able to copy this what you're just gonna do is you're going to download this configuration for filezilla because already we downloaded a filezilla so i'm going to download it and save it on my desktop too but if you don't mind to download still you'll be able to use this information to access your hosting now once we finish all those other first three things now the next thing is uh, let's talk, locate the domain that i need to install wordpress on it onto it so i already have my domain which is already running a wordpress site uh, let me check my other subdomains already all the subdomains are in use except this one but for this case let me create a new subdomain one good thing with ionos you can be able to create unlimited number of subdomains so let me name this what press then i save so as you can see i've created a subdomain called wordpress.bentech.com so the next thing is we need to upload the wordpress core files into your root directory of your hosting let me show you where the root directory of, of ionos is so if you can see this is the web space so a root directory is going to be in click and builds here and this is where all your project will be so we need to upload all the core files in this area here there are two ways you can be able to do this one we can use the filezilla that we already downloaded here and the other one you can be able to just create a folder here for example let me create a folder and i call the name of the, the subdomain i created is called wordpress create that folder there after that i will need to uh, upload all the other files of wordpress into this subdomain now once this is done let's use the filezilla method first go to filezilla run from here we can go back to our ionos remember these are the things i told you in case you've gone very far you can still go back and come to come to hosting and web spaces and you can be able to come to the ftp client here then you click on manage you can click on this blue link here and you'll be able to copy this bring it here paste it the host also you can go back pick the, the username put it here and remember the password that you put in if you forgot the password go ahead and reset it it allows you, you can set a new one and you save it and you put that password here 
then the port you come back and check on it the port is 22 you can copy it and put it here but in case you cannot be able to do all this go ahead to uh, file import go to your desktop and click filezilla and you say okay once that is done you say okay and you can be able to connect so for this case i've already picked these things i'm just going to click on quick connect so it is going to connect your it's going to connect your web space right now as you can see i've already connected just like how i was from here i can see the click and builds everything is right here you can see this is click and builds if you come to this also you can see it's actually here so that is a first step now i've already created the, the new folder here called wordpress or if i open this also i should be able to see the folder called wordpress now our task is upload the wordpress core files into this folder also this we can still open this and upload the core files but this is the thing that you're going to do minimize everything go to the where you, you downloaded your wordpress zipped file is now extract this right click on it and be able to say extract to a specific folder so i'm going to extract to the same folder now look at this folder here these are the core files i'm talking about they are all in here you need to make sure they are uploaded in this folder also if you're using the web space make sure all of them are uploaded here you can come to this select and locate it on the desktop which is actually here you select this and be able to put all this unfortunately with web space you cannot be able to select all of them and drag into this that is where the problem with using web space so it requires you again come to this and zip all this make all of them in one zip and compress it however the problem comes again the maximum upload is 20 mbs and if you look at this files if you check all of them and check the properties it's about 58 mb so that's a problem so what you're going to do you need to have to split them zip a few then again zip a few until you're able to split them less than 20 mbs per each then you can be able to upload here that's why i encourage you to use filezilla it's going to take quite a long time but you have to be very patient once you're done you'll be able to complete everything in your setup now right from here in filezilla we have already opened the remote site here which is this and it is already shown here if you if i go back to click and build so i go back to the home so you can see here it's click and builds then uh, my my folder is here so for this is your desktop you can be able to locate here you can say desktop from the desktop it comes in all here this is where your files are and these are all of them so you're going to pick all of them and highlight everything here just control a and you carry click and drag to this side remember before i drag it make sure you've selected the folder that you want those files to be so it is the one open now so i'll come back to this collect all this and carry them here you can see it has already started and as you can see down here the successful up sent and what is queued so all these 8640 something has to come into this before this is done so you got to be very patient and really very patient once that is done i'll be showing you the next step so i'm going to cut this video short and for you you also have to wait to, until it's finished pause this video finish your uploads once it is done now come and continue with me so once you've successfully finished to upload all your files the next step you have to do is connect your database to the web space so uh, we've already created the, the folder so now we need to create the subdomain into the web space so what are we going to do about this just click on domain and ssl then allocate the domain you want to install wordpress which is uh, for my case it's a subdomain and uh, the one i want to connect to wordpress is this one with the wordpress extension so i'm going to click on this which saying adjust destination uh, from here so you're going to click connect to web space we created a space called wordpress so you're going to click on op click and builds then our space is wordpress Let's click once and save so you can still refresh to confirm that has been already connected 
we give it some time so once it have refreshed it and it's now showing that this is the area it is connected the next step that we need is uh, go ahead to that domain of yours for example this is our domain then go to your browser and type it there and you try to visit it so it brings us to this level where it shows you to select the language that you're gonna use uh, like for example i'm going to use the english then you say continue so right from this step these are the four things that you need to prepare before you get started uh one is the database name database username password and the rest of this so how are you going to get all this this is what you're going to do let me explain go to your hosting and uh, from the hosting you can go to the menu and go to hosting then uh, from the hosting you come to databases here just go to manage uh, right from here go to create a database then you're going to give your database description whatever you want this I can say WordPress extension anything that you feel now uh, give it your password your database a password this password will be required you save it yes now the database is being set up can save it so the host name is still you can refresh to check if it is there and the username so you can see already my host name has come in and the username all of them are there so now what we're going to do is from this area just go ahead and say let's go password i put 2022 the username we're going to get it from here you can see here is the username you copy it and paste it there then the local host you still have it here this is the database host you put it there now the database name that is what you're going to uh, go back to the last step here go to databases this is the database name that we need you're going to there have a list of databases here but this is the one that we need you're going to click on copy this then you bring it here paste there once that is done, you're just going to click submit. You can see, all right, Sparky, you've made it through to this installation. So it means everything you've selected correctly. Now in this step, you're just going to run the installation. Now at this stage, you give your site a title like mine. I remember I said WordPress as I was working on it. Then you give it a username. I can give it Ventec. Then you can give it a password that you'll be using to as usual for logging in a domain password. Then uh, you can confirm to use a weak password. Give it your email that you'll be using for this. Then after that, you go ahead, you go ahead and install. It's complete. So you can see this is the username, and so I can go ahead and log in. You can see I saved it here. You just go and log in to this. Now, congratulations, our website, our WordPress has been installed. You can now do everything right here. So this is done. Thank you very much, guys. In case you have any challenges, please, you can contact me. Then we'll be able to fix out. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.